There have recently been some questions related to the integration with the Ultimate Character Controller and FPS Mesh Tool, so I thought that I would create a video showing how that integration works. This integration was created by the FPS Mesh Tools publisher, Code Bison Games, so thank you to them for creating it. Now for this video, I'm going to assume that you've seen the other character controller related videos on setting up your scene, setting up your character, setting up item types and items, and I'm going to focus solely on the FPS Mesh Tool integration. So to get started, I have imported the Synthi Studios Polygon Starter Pack, and I'm going to use this mail character from that pack. So let me drag that in, and you'll notice that this character, if I click on the mesh, there's just a single mesh. The arms are not separated like the Ultimate Character Controller's first person perspective requires them to be. So that's where FPS Mesh Tool comes into play and it will separate that mesh for us. So I'm going to first unpack this prefab and I'm not going to be using the female face so I'll just delete that game object. And before we really get started, I'm going to duplicate this game object and hide it because we will be using that later. So now let me open up the FPS Mesh Tool and drag in the character. You'll see that one of the first things that it asks is for its left arm. So I'm going to find that game object and drag it in. So it starts right here and I need to do something similar for the right. I want to separate the arms and I will create the preview. You can see in this preview now the arms is arms and the head are separated from the body so that's exactly what we want so let's go ahead and build that FPS mesh. Now that the mesh has been created I'm going to make sure I go ahead and close the FPS mesh tool because I'm going to delete this original game object but before I do that let me just look to show you the difference you'll see that we have just a single material that covers the entire character uh, in the original case and with the FPS mesh tool now if I click on that same character or that same renderer you'll notice we have four materials so it split the character up correctly so now I'm going to delete this original character because we are done with it and I'm going to unhide the hidden game object and this one I want to now use to create just the arms so this one this game object will kind of be used as the third person character and the full body awareness character and then this game object we will use and separate just the arms so I'm going to do that by expanding that same game object and uh, selecting the left and the right arms and so let me just drag that in. I want to separate the arms and instead of including all I do not want to include the head or the body so let me create that preview and you'll notice that we have just these arms so that looks good let's go ahead and build the FPS mesh and now we can close this window because we are done with it and let me delete the that game object. So now if I hide this first mesh that we created you'll notice that we have just the arms and we have some hair but let's go ahead and delete that because we don't need that hair in this case. And I'm going to unpack the prefab. So now we have just the arms and then we also have the separated body. So now this character is set up to be able to be used with the ultimate character controller. So we are now going to open up the character manager and go through the steps that you would normally go through as if it was just a separated mesh because it actually is a separated mesh. So actually let me go ahead and set the perspective to both and we will drag in the character. And now the FPS arms will be this mesh that we created that contains just the arms. And for the animator controller we can use the humanoid animator controller that is included with the character controller because this mesh is a humanoid. The third person objects in this case is just the character's hair so let me just drag that in and I'm not going to create the ragdoll just because I don't want that menu to pop up. So now when I hit build you'll notice that I have the separated 
mesh and the arms are separated so that looks good now let me go ahead and hit play and when I'm in first person perspective you'll notice that it didn't quite work uh, because the character's arms and head didn't disappear and you don't see the first person arms either so let's go ahead and fix that by first adding the actual integration component and that integration component is called UCC FPS material controller and this component is included in the FPS mesh tools integration folder so I imported this UCC package and then that brought in this script which I think is right underneath here yeah so that's that's this component right here and so now that I brought this in now when I hit play and I add, added it to the character the character's arms should disappear correctly we still don't get any first person arms but that's because we don't have an item equipped so let's go ahead and add an item and I'm going to use the existing item types and we're going to just start with the basic and add the assault rifle so none of these options should really be new um, and I'm gonna, just going to go through them really quickly the visible item will be the mesh for the assault rifle so let me find that and I'll drag that in the item parent so this is the first person item parent so this should be the first person's right arm so let me go ahead and expand out that and just keep digging in until I find the right hand and let me add that item slot the animator controller for the assault rifle it's called the assault rifle and we'll do something similar for the third person by just dragging in that visible item and then assigning the animator controller and we will have bolts for the assault rifle so now when I hit build we will have the assault rifle and let's go ahead and hit play and we should see some arms um, let me zoom out a bit well we see, we see the assault rifle but we don't see the actual arms you'll notice the shadow is visible um, if I go to third person we do have some arms though so we're making some progress and we can fix this by going back to that integration component and we will do this ignore renderers on I'm just going to drag in the uh, renderer for the first person materials and what this is saying is that when the character is in first person view I do not want to hide any of these renderers so now after I've updated that um, I can now go back in and hit play and we should see some arms so now we do see some arms they're really high up like there's a camera right here and the arms are way up here we can adjust this under the first person perspective item and if I set the position offset to negative 1.5 we'll see that we're starting to get some arms um, I've actually have some decent values that I've used so I'm gonna stop play mode and just add these values these aren't perfect but it shows the concept so now when I hit play we should see the arms and that looks good and third person looks good as well the assault rifle is not in the correct position but all this stuff should be very familiar to you because um, it's just set in the correct position under the transform and I should already have some good values so really once once you've separated the mesh with the FPS mesh tool and you have a first and a third person perspective um, mesh it the process is the same from the ultimate character controllers perspective so now when I hit play we should see that we have the assault rifle and it's positioned pretty well so that is how the integration works between the ultimate character controller and the FPS mesh tool from here you can just follow the regular tutorials